हेलो फ्रेंड्स सो वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल दैट इज वी आर इन टेक्नो वर्ल्ड सो इन सी वी एन एस टी सीरीज टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू इंट्रोड्यूस द न्यू मैथड दैट इज बाई सेक्शन मैथड सो इन केस ऑफ द सी बी एन एस टी सीरीज लाइक द नुमारिकल आई एम जस्ट गोइंग टू टेल यू बेस्ड ऑन द बाई सेक्शन मैथड सो first of all if you have not subscribed this channel then please do subscribe this channel and like if you like this video then do comment in a below comment box right and like don't forget to like this video so the today's numerical for like based on bisection method is you have to find the approximate root for the equation x cube minus 4x minus 9 this is the equation which is given in the question and the next thing which is given is like the intervals so the intervals for this equation is 2 comma 3 right and you have to find out the approximate root between these two intervals means we are having the interval that is 2 comma 3 and we have to find out the approximate root where the equation is x cube minus 4x minus 9 right and the range is also given here right uh, like like up to how many decimal places we have to find out the approximate root or the question could be like just find out the approximate root up to some intervals okay so question could be in these two forms but in this question the range is given so the range is like we have to stop or like this numerical or you could say that we have to find out the approximate root between these two intervals till five decimal places right so the things which are given is the equation that is f of x equals to x cube minus 4x minus 9 right and next thing which is given is the intervals that is 2 comma 3 these are the intervals that is 2 comma 3 and the next thing which is given is that is the range so the range is 0.000001 why it is so because uh, in the question it is given that up to five decimal places we have to find the approximate root that is why i have taken the range like this right now how to solve it so the like in case of bisection method first of all we have to find out the mean right the mean of the intervals so for that purpose like let us suppose this is the lower bound this is the lower bound that is x1 that is x1 and the another one is the upper bound which is like let us assume it is denoted as x2 right and this is the upper bound this is the upper bound okay now what you do uh, like so that like no confusion would be created so for that purpose you just create this kind of table right in which in the first column we would write down the value of the mean right the value of the mean then in the next column we would find out or we would solve the equation by putting the mean then in the third uh, column we would denote the roots right like how much uh, like we are just going near to the approximate root so these are the three columns okay now how to uh, like solve these number of steps this is step number 1 this is step number 1 so how to solve it first of all like we have to find out the mean so first of all we would find out step number 1 that is x not right so for that purpose we would check that how many intervals are given so the intervals are 2 comma 3 we have to find out the mean of that that means we would write 2 plus 3 upon 2 it would be 5 upon 2 that means 2.5 right this is the mean of the given intervals this is the mean of the given intervals now so the same thing we have written over here 
after that we would write or we would solve the equation but in the equation we would put this me right that is 2.5 so we just put it into the equation as f of x naught is given x cube minus 4x minus 9 so we have to find out f of 2.5 so it would be 2.5 cube minus 4 into 2.5 minus 9 so we just try to solve it what we would get we would get minus 3.375 right now the main step is here that if if we are getting one negative value if we are getting any negative value by solving this equation then the lower bound would be changed right so what is the rule over here that in case of bisection method like like wherever you would create one c program for it then you have to keep in mind that the root or the lower bound would be changed if and only if the value is in negative right so here you could check that we are getting we are getting the f of x naught as negative value that is minus 3.375 that means the lower bound would be changed and this is the lower bound this is the lower bound that means this lower bound by 2 would be changed into 2.5 right this 2 would be changed into 2.5 so the lower bound would be 2.5 but the upper bound would remain same that means the upper bound is 3 so it would remain same right so this is our step number one now just like that you just try to solve the step number two in case of a step number two this is a step number two in the same manner you just try to solve it first of all what are the roots you just take out the roots for it the roots are like, no, sorry, not the roots. We just check out these intervals, right? So this time the intervals are 2.5 and 3. Okay, so try to find out the mean of that. So in case of x1, it would be 2.5 plus 3 divided by 2. So we would get 2.75 over here, right? We would get 2.75 over here. But now in the given equation, we have to put this mean which we have got in the second step, right? So, like, uh, in the next equation, as soon as you would put, uh, like, the value, just like 2.75 cube minus 4 into 2.75 minus 9. So, what we would get? We would get the answer as 0 0.79. That is a positive value. So, if... A rule says, a rule says that if we are getting, like uh, after putting the value into the equation, into the given equation, if we are getting the value in a positive, right, then the upper bound would be changed, right, then the upper bound would be changed. So this time the value is in positive. So upper bound is this, this is the upper bound, okay, so this time it would be changed means the lower bound would remain same the lower bound would remain same and the upper bound that is 3 it would be changed with 2.75 with 2.75 okay so the upper bound would be 2.75 now you could check that like we are we are going like to more closer to our approximate root between 2 and 3 right Right now, in the lower bound, we are in the like 2.5 and in the upper bound, we are have, we are approx 2.75. We are near 2.75, right? So, to, like we have to like find out the root now between the 2.5 and 2.7, right? So, just like that, try to solve the step number 3, okay? Just like that, try to solve the step number 3, okay? So, in case of the step number 3, now we have to take these two intervals that is 2.5 and 2.75 okay so it would be like you just try to find out the mean of that so it would be 2.5 plus 2.75 divided by 2 so what we would get just check it out it would be 2.625 
you you also just try to solve it right after that like if you would put it into the given equation so the given equation was x cube minus 4x minus 9 right so if you would put this value into the equation then what you would get is try to try to put it into the equation so the equation was x cube that means it would be 2.625 cube minus 4 into 2.625 minus 9 that means we would get minus 1.41 right in step number 3 we would get minus 1.41 okay so if we are getting the value in negative that means now this time the lower bound would be changed so what is the lower bound over here so the lower bound this time the lower bound would be obviously the lower bound is this one okay this is the lower bound and this is known as the upper bound right so the lower bound would be changed that means 2.5 would be changed with the value that is 2.625 okay so this time the value would be 2.625 okay this is the lower bound and the upper bound would remain same the upper bound would remain same that means 2.75 okay that means right now we are more closer to our approximate root because right now we have to find out the approximate root between 2.6 and 2.75 something right so just like that try to solve some other steps as well right so as like in the question the range is given that up to five decimal places we have to find it so that means around about 20 iteration we have to move on right around 20 iteration it would be okay in 20 iteration we would get the approximate root okay that means like the approximate root would be or the final root which we would get would be around 2.7065 this would be the final approximate root 2.706529 and in 20 iteration we would find it right that means how we could say okay, this is the approximate root because up to five decimal places we have to find it that means the difference that means the difference between these two numbers would be around this range right in somehow we could say we could say that the value of x1 we would get around 2.70 right and x2 would be like 2.706530 right because we are saying the final root is 2.706529 that means we are getting this final root between these two intervals right so try to solve it try to solve it with the help of numerical obviously it would be quite complicated so in the next video what i will do because in the case of numerical obviously 20 iteration like to find out the 20 iteration it would be very difficult right so for that purpose what i'll do we we'll just try to solve out around some steps around four to five steps so in case of numerical obviously you would get the answer like the proper uh, score for that but in case of flexi like program we could do it in a very easy manner means 20 iteration we could find out by writing one simple c program so in the next video i would tell you how to do it right so till then what you do try to practice of this bisection method okay so thank you so much. If you like this video, please do subscribe the channel as well as like this video and don't forget to comment in the below comment box. So thank you. Thank you so much.